Assalamualaikum and good day all. Today we already in the chapter 9 on the fans and air distribution device. Eh? So the topic will cover all the sub topic in this chapter. So actually uh, I don't want to the spread uh, exactly on this uh, sub topic but actually uh, in this slide already cover all these uh, sub topic yeah okay in the actually in the supplying of uh, a in the hashback system commonly is using a friend uh, to distribute every uh, part and room so we need the friend to design when we Uh, implement in the hashback uh, design no? so supply device and room air distribution yeah? uh, some uh, component or device will be take uh, to contribute for example uh, fan uh, filter balancing damper Uh, griller, anything, yeah. So, but in this chapter, I only uh, focus in the fan uh, system. Because you know, the this one is uh, designing by using uh, duct system uh, to distribute of the air supply in the hatchback. Okay. Uh, as we know, uh, many of type fans uh, in commercial engineering already uh, uh, what do you call in the market we can find uh, some type, uh, but maybe. I will focus in only one part, one type of the fan because this type is will use only in the hatchback. Okay, uh, this one is a uh, one type uh, of the fan uh, by using propeller system uh, and then the centrifugal fan. Uh, So actually, I will go to the centrifugal fan, but before that, I will just introduce first type of the fan, eh? uh, axial fan. So, because of we has make more focus in the centrifugal fan in the utilized uh, air distribution or supply in the hydraulic system. So I will go to the centrifugal fan. Yeah. So based on the types centrifugal, we have uh, the first one is the forward curve fans. Yeah? So what the difference with the, the backward? Yeah? So based on the blade and rotation, how to supply the air. So you can see in the figure, the inlet is in the axial. And then the outlet in the radio, but the type of the blade based on the rotation is parallel, yeah? parallel to the rotation. So you can see the blade type yeah? uh, heading to the the rotation. So we call this one is forward curve fans. And then we go to other uh, backward. Uh, blower uh, fan, you can see is uh, actually opposite to the forward. So the type of blade is uh, yes uh, backward into the rotation. Then another type is radial. You can see the the blade. Uh, shape is exactly is 
90 degree to the uh, axial. This mean is exactly perpendicular. So still, we can use the inlet in from the axial and then the outlet maybe from radial or the axial also, but the the blade type uh, or shape uh, differentiate uh, to the backward and forward. Now we go to airfoil blade fans. Uh, this one uh, using airfoil shape to create uh, inlet uh, to push the outlet to distribute to the outlet. Uh. This one more to the like open open air without the casing such as the uh, going turbine eh? we use this one for some time we use in the green uh, building without has very without the aircon system they use the this fan and then radial tips tip fans eh? So what difference only from the blade? You can see in the figure the, with the black arrow mentioned the tip one is in radial. Actually, uh, the same uh, condition like the uh, radial, but different with the, the shape of the blade. So, on the tip, uh, we have the like the curve uh, to the pivot. pivot. Uh, this one we call radial tip fans, and then inland centrifugal fans. Uh, so the inlet and the outlet uh, in the same direction or parallelly with the the axial. So we call this one inline centrifugal fans. Okay. From uh, listed type of fans, uh, we can choose, we can select of the uh, fan based on the specific requirement uh, in the fluid. Uh, volume pressure and efficiency centrifugal fans of various types uh, are designed to serve the needs diverse industrial application so based on this one this parameter we try to select uh, one or more types of the fan in our design okay how to the to select based on this uh, parameter, flow rate, volume, pressure, uh, efficiency, anything. So based on this parameter, we go uh, to study step by step uh, every parameter, how to select uh, fans in our design. So firstly, we go to inlet extreme conditions. Uh, so fan manufacturer publish rating for airflow pressure and power are based on the standard laboratory condition using standard to be feet per minute or SCFM for airflow. So the standard maybe we can use 0 0.0, 75 pounds per cubic feet eh? for standard fan inlet air stream density so this one based on the standard should be select in inlet uh, air stream condition so as such the manufacturer the published rating can normally be used for fan selection and evaluation when the deviation between standard density and the actual side density at the fan inlet is less than uh, five percent. So the this occur when the following parameters are meet at the fan inlet. So we will uh, keep 
this condition in the inlet uh, extreme condition. Yeah. So first one, temperature between yeah, 40 degrees Fahrenheit uh, until to 100. And then what else? Water gauge. Yeah. This one, the pressure. Yeah. Pressure between 12 in the negative until to 12 in positive. That means mean pressure. And then what would we use? Yeah? Water gauge. Yeah. Water gauge. So you can learn uh, how water gauge work. Yeah. And then moisture. Moisture is will be 0, 0.0 pounds of water per pound. And then less than 80 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. And also we consider the elevation. Eh? So uh, maybe not less eh? 1,000, uh, not more 1,000 feet elevation above sea level. Okay, we can see anything uh, parameter. Uh, the first one may be inlet uh, stream. We can see all. Eh? Okay, now how to calculate uh, the uh, parameter that consider in the inlet uh, mainstream, yeah? inlet condition of fan. How to calculate of the actual cubic, uh, sorry, uh, normal refer to us non standard air with the air with fan airflow, not as actual cubic per, per minute. So we try to uh, fulfill this parameter in inlet condition. This one, the first one, we try to uh, calculate uh, DFT. DFT is mean temperature uh, for inlet. Uh, by formula 530 uh, divided by 460 times uh, plus uh, inlet temperature eh? and then pressure in the water gauge how to calculate uh, by this formula and then how to calculate the moisture eh? uh, and then elevation so the total this parameter we call density factor. The density factor is times to all these parameters. So we can get one single or uh, single number uh, of the density factor. Okay. Now other parameter that we will consider of in the selecting of fans in our design, specific design. The first uh, fan performance. Eh? If a fan is selected from the manufacturer standard catalog rating for an actual volumetric flow rate is around 30,000 cubic feet eh, per minute, 15 in water gauge static pressure, 1,910 RPM and 86 horsepower, but it's not at the above condition. Then the fan operating performance will be the actual volumetric capacity will be uh, fulfilled all these uh, parameter. So the actual airstream density, shaft power consumption. The so shaft consumption is divided by uh, this one is factor. Eh? Uh, or horsepower. Uh, or power. So maybe we cannot uh, use 100%. Uh, eh? Maybe this one is based on the characteristic of uh, of fan itself. So we have the actual volumetric capacity, we have uh, actual mass flow capacity, actual static pressure delivery. So anything we call 
first fan performance. And how about the fan capacity? The fan capacity can be stated either in terms of volumetric flow rate. We can use in the British unit, cubic feet eh, per minute, or we can use uh, international standard. And then uh, we can uh, use a volumetric capacity. Eh? Uh, in standard condition is 0 0.075 pound per uh, cubic feet. Yes. And then what else? In this fan capacity, we consider the mass delivery now. And then mass flow rate, then the required actual volumetric flow rate. Uh, you can see here. So the actual, so the actual. So this one time to the correction. So 0 0.05, uh, 525, this one is a correction. So we cannot use totally performance in 100%. So we still have the correction. This is how to uh, calculate uh, for fan capacity. And then fan pressure. So fan pressure, actually we have several pressure inside to uh, consider. The first one is total, uh, uh, sorry, total pressure, velocity pressure. Uh, static pressure, fan static pressure, and fan total pressure. So it should be known all these parameters in the fan pressure. And then we try to sum. So we can get the uh, fan pressure uh, work uh, in the fan. Uh, we try to select, eh? then we uh, try to select it. So the total for calculation of total pressure here, we can use uh, total pressure equal to uh, volume pressure plus two static uh, pressure. Capacity. Sorry, V is velocity pressure. V is velocity pressure. So the total pressure equal to uh, velocity pressure uh, plus two. Uh, static pressure. So how to calculate the velocity pressure? Well, we can modify this uh, equation uh, to get to carry out the uh, velocity pressure. So velocity pressure, uh, we can use this uh, this formula. Uh, BF already done in the inlet performance. We can calculate. And now we can get the VP uh, calculation from this uh, calculation, uh, formula. Now we can calculate the static pressure. So static pressure is potential energy exerted in the all direction of the fluid. Uh, so Static pressure equal to uh, TP, total pressure, uh, negative to velocity pressure. Okay. SP is mutually convertible with the VP, so convertible. After that, now we can calculate the pen total pressure. So the total pressure is the difference between the VP and SP. Fan total pressure is the increase in the total pressure through the or across the fan and represent the total work delivered by the fan. So fan total pressure is defined by a movement control association or we call the AMCA standard. It's not normally used for fan rating purpose. In some cases, especially fan may be rated based on the fan total pressure. However, an understanding of fan total pressure is important for proper understanding when measuring 
fans and fan system. So fan pressure is expressed as fan total pressure equal to total pressure fan outlet uh, negative to total pressure fan inlet. And then fan total pressure, we can also simplify <coughs> because TP, we can uh, derive new formula as SP plus to GP outlet. And then TP, we can derive also one formula SP plus to GP inlet. So when the velocity pressure at the fan inlet and then the fan outlet are the same. The velocity pressure cancel out the fan TP calculation. So we can simplify by this one. Fan TP, the, we can simplify the formula SP outlet negative to SP inlet. Okay. This one, the example, when we calculate one condition of fan, eh? if we consider the atmosphere is in the SP, uh, uh, atmospheric is a zero, eh? SP1, a zero, and we can see the SP2 in the inlet of fan, eh? negative four in, quick uh, gauge, uh, water gauge, and so on. This one here, yeah, example how to select or uh, we try to calculate the performance of a uh, fan. So you can see the example here later in the slide. And these are the example condition of fan of uh, select. So from this parameter, we try to see a uh, rating of uh, fan from the list, eh, from the commercial list. Now, fan static pressure versus static pressure. Okay. So you can see how to get the uh, fan SP. This one actually, uh, all parameter is the law of fan, law in the selecting fan. Eh? So you can use this uh, fan, this parameter to select the fan. Eh? So how to select the fan SP by the final of the formula same like the previous calculation. So fan SP, the final is, is we can use this formula. SP outlet, negative to SP inlet, and negative to GBP inlet. Now how to determine, how to do understanding the fan power. So I believe fan power is uh, determined by two, of uh, measurement. Eh? The first one is BHP, or we call brick horsepower, and then the OHP, or horsepower consumed. Eh? Uh, operative horsepower, sorry, operative horsepower. So what is the BHP? BHP is the power required to drive the fan shaft. So directly we can measure uh, the power fan from the shaft. So what the uh, when can we uh, provide uh, to the shaft? So the condition we can see the standard stream condition. Uh, this one the flow rate, uh, density. Sorry. And then over the whole OHP operating horsepower, horsepower, horsepower consumed by the fan and it's driver during operation. So we can measure from the consuming, what the consuming of the fan. So we can measure by calculation, BHP, time density factor, and draft loss. So during operation, so the one is different, eh? it's mean BHP and OHP. 
for example how to select to see uh, the performance yeah, of the fan itself so we have here so we'll be selecting yeah, i already bought one what parameter to be uh, selecting uh, or to to show the performance yeah. this one the uh, inlet eh? condition and then we can calculate all uh, parameter the already uh, mentioned before <coughs> density factor we can calculate already here yeah? but this one is a uh, calculate uh, it's not uh, elaborate here you can calculate uh, any part this one by yourself eh? And then after that, they select uh, or they carry out the performance as, uh, of the OHP uh, around 52.06. Okay, this one is an example of the select everything. So for an efficiency, we can calculate. By formula A has B divided by B has B. So by the A has B, the A has B is power output and the power input is B has B. Okay, we can calculate by using this formula. So for total efficiency, also we can calculate by use this formula. Total pressure in water gauge time to flow rate. Okay? And divide by these all uh, parameters that mentioned in the formula. And then this one is fan rating that provide in the commercial market. Okay. After you calculate in your design, you can select. Uh, you can select what you want in the uh, volume uh, inlet eh? and then the rpm bhp this one you already mentioned the, the size uh, this one is construction and arrangement of fan you can design based on the standard actually the arrangement or structure of fan we can follow one of uh, standard given you can choose in the first corner structure or second based on the condition uh, building itself eh? totally uh, many many type of uh, structure construction construction you can choose here table one table two this is based on the standard you can use uh, all these things so this, this code is mentioned the the type of structure and arrangement and this one uh, example excel fan using excel fan this one motto this one the the fan the fan axial is on the the uh, duct yeah, in the axial uh, axis and then uh, how to design to put arrangement of the motor of the uh, fan eh? you can choose like this like this like this okay this one is standard Okay, for energy saving, eh, for for the fan, energy saving on fan is much greater than on other equipment. On fan loads, the power requirement varies with the cube of the speed. So the slower the fan speed, the less energy required. Okay, a fan running at eighty percent speed will consume fifty percent of the energy. 
uh, at that 100 speed. So compared to the 100 speed, eh, so much energy compared to 80. So even we use uh, 80, so the potential energy is not is not higher. But when we uh, go higher uh, to 100 uh, percent. So we will consume 100 energy. So maybe we try to design a fan to be used not more 80 percent of the power. So it will be save the energy consumed. Okay. I think that's all uh, in this part. Yeah. In the chapter nine on the fan component of uh, Hasbro designer. Okay, that's all. Uh, don't forget to consider your attendance to be a submit the summary in this chapter. Okay, thank you. Assalamualaikum and good day all.